What's going on everybody? It's Super Robot Ed and today we have in front of you some new pictures of the Studio Series 86 ARC. Um, obviously, I don't know what I was getting ready to say, but um, yeah, we've seen it before. Now we're seeing it a few more times here, this time with the names that shall not be named. And of course, you know how they got it. There's no packaging. So we know this is something that's not on any up and up and legit. Uh, I still want this figure. I don't care what anybody says. I think this is going to be the best of both worlds. Y'all keep complaining about this and that, and you don't like this and you don't like that. Masterpiece RC has a backpack. So at this point, I don't want to hear you screaming about the backpack, but Earthrise RC just never transformed. I don't know why y'all acting like that was such the greatest thing since sliced bread. That's the worst figure they've made. That's just that you know how much money Hasbro has for making an RC, yet alone, you know, just make it for RC in general. I really don't understand that. But we're going to get into it. Now, the car mode, again, you know, looks very G1. Um, the color choice almost reminds me of the masterpiece a little bit. Um, it's still hard to say because, like I said, I didn't watch the video. I only got the screen caps from TFW 2005. But yeah, it does look very G1. And we're going to compare it to a few others here. So we have the Cyberverse RC, which basically you know, is Cyberverse is different. It's a different take on G1 RC, but as you can clearly see, it's very similar. Not similar, very different, I should say. And of course, Earthrise is just, <sighs> Jesus Christ. Y'all love this figure good. All right. So comparing it to the Legends version, and they're very close. It's just that the shade of paint they use for the Legends version is always richer. The car always did that with their paints. As you can see, the main three, you know, mainline RCs together and the Earthrise one just looks idiotically stupid. Now you get to see all four. Like I said, Cyberverse, I just, I can't put them in the same category, but I get it because that's the other modern RC. And I have to admit the uh, Studio Series and the Legends looks better. So here's just an overview of the uh, Studio Series 86 version. Again, we've seen this so many times now really nothing new you know it's basically a re-engineering of the studio series i mean excuse me of the thrilling 30 with some articulation and different uh i don't know what the word parts here because yeah the legs are new and different um but the top part is going to really freak you out as we go through the video and again what is people complain about a backpack but earthrise rc has like two backpacks again she's actually going on a trip somewhere and then, of course, we have the uh, Cyberverse. And like I say, Cyberverse wasn't perfect either, but it was a lot better than Earthrise, in my opinion. But she's very hollow. And as you can see, you can see all four. And again, like I said before, I don't, I can't really get Cyberverse RC into this. I mean, I get it. And of course, the different backpacks. And again, you know, Earthrise RC has that extra. It just looks like an extra backpack. And as you can see from the side, again, <laughs> Earthrise RC, poor Cyberverse. Yeah, Cyberverse has a weird backpack. And here's some comparisons with the, uh, you know, our normal Earthrise figures and Siege, uh, our, uh, our Springer with Earthrise Arthur's Prime. And I feel the color is a little muted, but it's very close to what the, kind of like the masterpiece. It's kind of in the middle of the masterpiece but you can see there i mean they all gonna match oddly enough you get the same guns um it looks like it looks like the same guns so it doesn't look like it's anything or much of a difference and you can see them from the side they do the exact same thing except it looks like the way that they lock on on the side is slightly a little bit different so the ports might be a little smaller and she still can hold the two sword blades that come with the original thrilling 30 rc so that's a good thing as well. So if you have those weapons, you want to put them on her, you can do that. And here are the three of them compared together. And I'm sorry, man, this Earthrise RC just doesn't cut it. But I do have a problem with Studio Series 86 RC. And we're going to talk about that at the end of the video. And yes, the chests are very similar, but there's looks like now the uh, way that the original Thrilling 30 transformed part of the car mode kind of tucked under the chest and into the car and this time it looks like a totally different transformation but it's the same parts used again i don't watch their videos i get the caps from tfw or sabertron and 
I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like there's a difference in transformation. And again, you can see it from the front here. So pretty much there's some, there's definitely some retooling uh, that was done overall. So how do I feel about this figure? It's still better than the Earthrise. It's the best they can do. Hasbro always stated they not going to be putting a lot of money in the RC. Um, if you want a perfect RC, you may have to go third party and masterpiece. And I doubt it because a lot of them in the in the main line, the third parties mostly don't. They don't come close to even this. It's a whole it's a different take. It's more IDW ish. So your choice now. You know you can track down. Uh, through in 30 or legends but you're gonna miss out on the modern articulation or you can get earth rise if you're stubborn or you can go and get this one it is entirely up to you but i will say as always hasbro paint hasbro's paint acts are lacking and it's very lacking on this figure again you know but leave your thoughts down in the comments below again my name is super robot ed we'll see you soon with more news and reviews until then bye bye